Okay, so once you get a handle on the five shapes in the key of C, and so on, there's two more. Once you get a handle on those five, you can start to connect the shapes together. So you have to spend a lot of time on each individual shape, scalar, intervals, thirds, fourths, and that, sequences, triads, to get them really under your fingers and understand them, and to visualize them on the fretboard. And then you, you want to start to connect them together. So probably the best way to go is just to connect two shapes together. So, and you want to make sure when you connect them that you're not going to do a double, a double slide to, to, to um, like for example, if I go on this fifth string, slide up to the seventh fret, I also have to go up to the eighth fret to continue. You don't want to do that double action. So, a good way to shift is on the fourth string, the D string. Let's do that. Start on the third fret. G, A, B, e, C, D, E, F, G, up to the 7th fret, the B on the 4th fret, now we're in shape 6. So we went from shape 5 in the key of C, 4th string, now we're into shape 6. I can slide again on the 2nd string to the 10th fret. up to the twelfth. You see how now we've gotten up to the twelfth fret down from the bottom by connecting. So we connected now I don't want to write this out for you guys, I want you to look at the shapes and, and understand. Just start with two shapes. So if you're creating a solo like the D minor backing track You could go. Now I went down on the third string. Shape six. First finger and down to the A. So just start connecting them on the two shapes here. If we go to the shape 6 and shape 7, now I do that on the 5th string. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F. This will probably make you realize that you don't have the shapes down as much as you thought. You could do a one finger slide right up on the 6th fret. shape 7 to shape 2 on the 5th string. So I slid there on the 1st string. You can shape, shift on almost pretty much every string. You have to do it in a way that makes sense so that you're not shifting twice, which won't be possible if you start getting faster. Okay, so I don't want to write this out because it'll be just a mindless pattern. I want you to start to connect the shapes, visualize them. Okay? So work on connecting those shapes together. Make sure you've got the five. You might want to print them off, have them, have them with you at first. Just work on two shapes at a time, okay? Give that a try. Let me know how it goes.